Hey, how's it going? Hans Schaff here with my tiny house build. This is uh, kind of the day one. I'm working on my 32 foot gooseneck trailer uh, right now and just kind of getting it ready to, to flash. Um, in hindsight, I probably would have just had the metal um, trailer fabrication guy do a little bit more work so I wouldn't have to do this. But essentially what I'm doing is having to put in some 2x8s, 2x6s, things like that on the outsides. So I have flashing to stick to on the outside of the, of the, of the trailer because the uh, seat channel or the metal tube framing uh, goes down the center of the of the trailer. I'll give you a closer look here so you can see what I mean. So these, let's see if I can point correctly here. These right here, these runners that go the whole length of the trailer, they're six, they're eight inches um, tall, two inches wide. Uh, they run the whole length of the trailer, um, but this is just um, angle iron. So I'm having to put these two by eights to the outside of this angle iron. So I have this area right here I can actually insulate because this will be my home on the inside. So I want to make sure the floor is fully insulated with 8 inches insulation, spray foam insulation. So that's what I'm doing here. Uh, it's 2 by 8 I've actually got some, um, it's basically just polyurethane. Um, it's basically, it's designed to go onto a um, concrete foundation for the same reason of thermal bridging to prevent the uh, heat transfer basically from going from the concrete to the wood. Um, same with metal to wood you want to have something some kind of uh, layer to go in between so I've got this just kind of stapled on here tacked in and it goes right in here um, right here under the angle iron you can see I pre-drilled some holes because this is some thick steel to try and get some uh, to basically to, to get the uh, 2 by 8 to really go flush against this so it'll be a little bit of a gap on here and so when I finish my house I'll actually have some trim on the outside here but in the meantime I want to make sure this entire area gets insulated. So there's eight inches of foam down here all the way to the outside of the, of the trailer, of the house. So that's what I'm doing here. Just going to put this last board on. You can kind of see what I've done. There's um, the other two sections where I've already done this and put it in place. I'm just finishing up here today. This is my last little bit. And then um, I'll be taking it over to get it flashed, the bottom side of it tomorrow. Save me a whole bunch of time. Um, and get the uh, trailer guy to do that for me. So he's gonna flash it and then I'll be able to get my subfloor going. I'll insulate it, put the three-quarter inch plywood down, and I'll be ready for uh, framing, putting the walls up. So excited about it. So uh, it's been hot out here, but I uh, just wanted to kind of share my progress, uh, where I'm at, what's going on. So it's all pre-drilled. It's the last board I'm gonna stick up here because I gotta insulate this as well because this will be the bedroom floor. So gotta do the same here, get that last board up. So anyway, just wanted to uh, document where I'm at. All right, see you in the next video.